Come on, dear. <laughs> Everyone, and welcome back to Jack's World of Wildlife. I am super excited today because we have actually found bullet ants. Now, bullet ants, or Paraponera clavata, are ants native to Central and South America, and they are enormous. Uh, these, these little female workers here uh, can be anywhere to up to about four-fifths of an inch, about two centimeters long, um, and they, they are absolutely gorgeous ants. They have beautiful gold um, hairs on the front of their legs, wonderful spines um, on the thorax, um, and a beautiful rusty red um, brown color. Very, very pretty ants. Now, bullet ants primarily forage for food in trees. So we call this arboreal foraging. So they are very talented climbers, and you can often see them filing out of their nests, which again are typically at the base of trees, and they will trickle up the branches and hunt for primarily termites. Now they will eat a variety of small insects as well, typically soft-bodied, so maybe katydid nymphs, uh, praying mantises, things of that nature, and they are also collectors of saps and sugars. They'll eat fermenting fruit juices and things like that. And bullet ants, as well as most of the larger species of predatory ants, need standing water almost always. So it's really, really nice that they live in the rainforest because they almost always have access to water so that they can bring it back to their nest to feed their queen, to feed their larvae, and keep the nest going. Um, so this little female here is chilling. She's licking a little bit of banana off of my finger. Uh, so as you can see, bullet ants are actually not very aggressive. A lot of people think uh, that because they are famed for their sting, uh, that they're out to get you, that they're out to sting you, um, but really they have no interest in attacking uh, very large animals. In fact, they particularly hunt uh, insects that are much smaller than themselves. Uh, which is very interesting. They're actually very, very shy um, and timid animals. Of course, you know, if you do stick your hand in a bullet ant nest, which I would advise against, uh, they will defend <laughs> their nest. Now again, the genus of these gals is Paraponera, and what that means is almost Ponera. Ponerini is a separate tribe of ants uh, that are also typically large <laughs> and painfully stinging. Um, and Paraponera shares a lot of um, similarities with this group. However, uh, because of their um, petiole, their waist uh, segment, um, and because of a lot of their behavior, egg structure, larval development, and things like that, they have actually earned their own tribe, which is a type of classification. So basically what that means is bullet ants are the only things that are closely related to themselves. There's just one bullet ant. Paraponera clavata, they're in their own tribe, their own genus, and they have their own species just to themselves, uh, which is really, really cool because they're not really similar uh, to anybody else. Uh, 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 what are you doing? She's cleaning her stinger. <laughs> I was like, not yet, not yet. <laughs> Now, like most species of ants, bullet ants reproduce by creating elates at certain times of the year. Now, elates are winged reproductives, so this is a female here. Now, you can notice she's got that large thorax and wings. That large thorax is actually holding her wing muscles. One of the easiest ways to tell the difference between a worker and a queen bullet ant is by that big thoraxial hump. The workers do not have that larger thorax, and in fact, they have visible spines on either side of the front end of the thorax. Now, bullet ant queens are also semi-claustral. Now, what this means is they actually have to hunt the entire time they are raising their larvae. Because bullet ants don't have a very large gaster or abdomen, they can't store a lot of food or water. So they constantly have to leave the safety of their nest or founding chamber to hunt food, which means they have to work five times as hard as other species of ants in order to raise some workers to start helping them out. So here we go. Paraponera clavata, the bullet ant, suspect... 
What was I even trying to say? <laughs> Suppose. So here we go. Paraponor clavata, the bullet ant. Supposedly the most painful stinging insect in the entire world. Um, here we go. Four out of four on the Schmidt pain index. Come on, dear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, uh, it's um. Oh man, oh man, it's definitely worse than the tarantula hawk wasp. Look, you see her stinger still inside me. She hasn't even pulled it out yet. Ah, she's still pumping in there. It's again. Um, it's a very painful sting. Um, but honestly, it's it's bearable. I'm not I'm not like rolling around on the ground or anything. But um, she's still she's still <laughs> pumping venom into me. I'm just gonna let her go. I don't I don't care. Um, Paraponder clavata is a very very. Um, a uh, very large species. Oh gosh. Let's see. All right, dear. That's enough of that. You can see her stinger is still very much inside of me. Look, look. See the stinger. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> She's biting at it. Oh. Okay, come on, dear. Oh, look at the stinger. Look at the stinger. Do you see the stinger? Oh. <laughs> she just won't come out. Oh well. It's fine. Um, again, it is a very painful sting, um, but um, it's not really immediate. It's like a like a growing um, pain that's coming out. Oh yeah, sure. Just eat some eat some banana off of my arm there. Why don't you? <laughs> wow, that is. Um, it's like uh, I don't know. It's like the surrounding area. You can see it's already getting red all over my arm. Um, it's like uh, like a burning pain, but it's also like tensing your muscles. It's like a like a like everything's just contracted. Um, wow, that is very big. There we go. Look, you can see the actual sting there, right underneath her. She just goes right back to cleaning herself, like nothing, nothing ever happened. Whew. Oh, she's gonna clean her clean her clean her stinger now because it's so dirty. There's the sting. Wow, I can't stop my arm from shaking. Um, <laughs> well, anyway, almost as anticlimactic as the tarantula hawk wasp. Um, a lot of stinging insects get a pretty bad reputation. A lot of people think that um, uh, they sting very, very hard or that they're super, super uh, dangerous. But really, all of this sting is doing is um, mimicking the, the pain receptors in my arm and telling my brain that it's really, really hurting me. Um, and that's actually the adaptation of most of the stinging insects, uh, Hymenoptera, which are ants, bees, and wasps. It's just to um, make an attacker feel like it's really, really getting hurt by something when it's actually really not. Um, I've also heard that the bullet ant sting crescendos <laughs> in pain um, up to 30 minutes and then that's the peak. Uh, so we shall um, see if that's worth including in the video. Um, if it's more painful, but you can see there the initial sting. She is quite pleased with herself. <laughs> now the pain lasted for hours, and in fact you can see the kind of sheen on my skin here. This was localized fever and sweating, and this actually went on for about eight or nine hours. This was definitely one of the more painful and intense stings I've ever done. Despite being one of the more feared species of ants on the planet, bullet ants remain one of my absolute favorite species of insects in the world. These lovely ants get such a bad reputation, but in reality are quite docile and just would rather go about finding food for their colonies and surviving free of worry and predators. So once again, remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And let me know in the comments below what other types of videos you guys would like to see. Um, I'm hoping I can get back out traveling soon and get some more new content and some more stuff for you guys to watch. So I'm glad you enjoyed it and keep on watching.